Hello and welcome to this video on multiplying thirds. Now we saw in previous videos these two fundamental laws of thirds. If we multiply two thirds together, two roots, then we can just times those two numbers together. And if we divide them, then we can just divide the two numbers. So if, for example, I had root two times root three, because they're both thirds, I can multiply those numbers together to get root six. But if, say, I had root two times three, now, these are not both thirds, so I can't combine them together in that way, but I can still write it as 3 root 2, because we have 3 times root 2, we got 3 lots of root 2. So just like we would have, say, 3x, and we wouldn't write x3, we'd write 3 root 2, we wouldn't write root 2, 3. What about if we had 2 times root 3? Well, that'd be very similar, but we just have 2 root 3. The non third always comes first before the third when we combine them together. And remember that when you have things next to each other, it just means you're times them. So 2 root 3 does mean 2 times root 3, just as we have over here. Let's use it to solve these particular questions here. We've got question 1, root 3 times 4. Well, only one of these is a third, so we put the non third first. So it's 4 root 3, meaning 4 times root 3. What about the second one? We've got root 5 times root 7. Now these are both thirds, so we can do 5 times 7, which is root 35. Now the third one, this is where it gets more interesting, 2 root 3 times 4 root 3. Now what we do here is we're, we're still multiplying everything together, so it's 2 times root 3 times 4 times root 3, and when you multiply numbers together, it doesn't matter what order you multiply them in. So we could times the 2 and the 4 together first, because we know 2 times 4 is 8. And we know we can times thirds together using this, so root 3 times root 3 is root 9. But the thing is, root 9 is just 3, isn't it? So it's 8 times 3, so it'd be 24. So in fact, it's not a third at all. So the key here is that you multiply the non-thirds together, and you multiply the thirds together separately, and then put them together. What about the next one, question 4? We've got 5 root 2 times by 3 root 5. Well, we can multiply the non-thirds together first. 5 times 3 is 15. And then we can times the thirds together. Root 2 times root 5 is root 10. And that root 10 doesn't simplify because there's no square numbers that go into 10 other than 1. What about 5? Root 3, 4 minus root 3. Well, we can just expand out the bracket. So root 3 times 4 is 4 root 3. We can't combine them together anymore because they're not both thirds. And then we have minus root 3 times root 3. Well, we know that's going to be root 9. But if you ever have the square root of a number times itself, it just gets rid of the square root. So root 3 times root 3 is 3. So we've got 3. And those terms don't collect because that's a root term and that's not a root term. What about question 6? We've got 2 root 5, 3 root 5, minus 4. Let's try and do as much as in our head as we can. Well, we've got this times this first. So, we've got 2 times 3 we know is 6, and root 5 times root 5 is just 5. We saw that above, for example. So, we've got 6 times 5 is 30. So, that whole thing is 30 minus, and then 2 root 5 times 4. Well, we can do the 2 times the 4, which is 8, and we've still got that root 5, so it's minus 8 root 5. What about 7? We got 3 plus root 2 times 4 minus root 2. So now we're expanding out two brackets. Well, let's have each possible combination of things. We can do the first times the first. We've got 3 times 4, which is 12. We could do the first times the second. 3 times minus root 2 is minus 3 root 2. We've got root 2 times the 4, that's plus 4 root 2. And finally we've got root 2 times minus root 2. Well we know that root 2 times root 2 is 2, so it's just that. And then we can collect like terms as such. So we can collect the non thirty terms together, 12 minus 2, 12 minus 2 is 10, and we've got minus 3 root 2 plus 4 root 2. Well, minus 3 plus 4 is 1, so it's just plus 1 lot of root 2, or just plus root 2. So that would be the final answer. And you can always check that on your calculator by just typing that in, and it would simplify it to that. 
What about question eight? We've got root 27 plus one times root three minus four. Let's expand out. So we first got the first times the first thing, root 27 times root three. Well, we're timesing two thirds together, so we can just multiply the numbers. 27 times three is 81, so it's root 81. And I know we can simplify that, we'll do that on the next step. Then root 27 times minus four is minus four root 27. And again, we'll be able to simplify this later. We've then got one times root three, which is just plus root three. And we've got one times minus four, which is just minus four. So now in the next step, we're gonna simplify things. Well, the square root of 81, we'll just spot that's a square number, so that is nine. Now this one, we're gonna simplify, we got four, then root 27, what's the biggest square factor that goes into 27? Well, it's nine, so it's root nine root three, because nine times three is 27. We've still got that plus root three, and we've got the minus four. Then let's simplify further, nine, well, four times root nine, that's four times three, which is 12, so it's minus 12 root three, plus root three, minus four, and then we can collect like terms. So we've got nine minus four, which is five, and minus 12 lots of root three, plus one lot of root three, is minus 11 lots of root three. So that would be the final answer. The next one, question nine, we've got two root three plus five, times two root three minus five. So we first do the two root three times the two root three. Well, we times the non thirty things together first. Two times two is four, and root three times root three is three. Four times three is 12, so that whole thing is just 12. Then we've got two root three times minus five. Well, the two times the five is 10, so we've got minus 10 root three. Now, this times this, we can times the non thirty things together first, so 5 times 2 is 10, and then we've just got the root 3, that's the only root, so it's plus 10 root 3, and then we've got 5 times minus 5, which is minus 25. Let's collect like terms. Minus 10 lots of root 3 plus 10 lots of root 3, well, they just cancel. So all we're left with is 12 minus 25, which is minus 13. What about question 10? We've got the square root of 3, to the power of six. Well, that's going to be root three times 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 root three. Now, can you see that each pair of root threes you have is gonna to combine to just make three because root three times root three we know is three. So we just end up with three times three times three and that's going to be 27. What about 11? We've got three root two cubed. So we could write that as three root two times three root two times three root two, because that's what cubing means. You just times it by itself and by itself again. So we times the non thirds together first. Three times three times three is 27. And then root two times root two times root two is root eight, because two times two times two is eight. And we can simplify this. Well, root eight can be written as root four root two. And then, well, 27 times two is 54. So it's 54 root two. And then finally this one, and I've seen questions just like this before in exams. We've got five plus root two squared minus five minus root two squared. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna expand out each bracket. So we'll write each bracket out twice. So let's do each one in turn. Five times five is 25. 5 times root 2 is plus 5 root 2. Root 2 times 5 is plus 5 root 2. And root 2 times root 2 is just 2. And then we're subtracting. And then do you remember, whenever you expand something that you're subtracting, put the whole thing in a bracket, and then we'll deal with this bracket later. So we're going to do 5 times 5, which is 25. 5 times minus root 2, which is minus 5 root 2. We've got another minus 5 root 2. And then we've got minus root two times minus root two, or well, negative times negative is positive, so it's plus two. And then we can deal with this minus with the bracket after. So we've got minus 25. Now we've got minus minus five root two, which is plus five root two. So we're effectively negating each of the things in this bracket. So we're minusing minus five root two, so it becomes plus five root two again. And then we got minus two, so we got the minus two there. And then we just collect like terms. So what stuff cancels? Well, 
the 25s cancel, the 2s cancel, and all we're left with is 5 root 2 plus 5 root 2 plus 5 root 2 plus 5 root 2, which is 20 lots of root 2. So that would be the final answer.